Hey everybody, it's Adam Schwartz, EXP Realty here in Reading. Uh, spring is right around the corner. We got a lot of uh, clients looking at listing their home and uh, making a move either out of state or uh, maybe into something that fits their family a little better. And I came across a situation that is actually more and more frequent and it has to do with solar on your home. And so I'm just making this video. If you're thinking about getting solar or if you already have solar and you're not really quite sure what it does to the value of the home. Um, so in a lot of cases, in the last you know five or six years, sometimes more than that, uh, solar companies would come out and they would pitch the idea of a solar lease so you didn't have to pay for the whole system and then you would just pay a monthly payment and it would lower your electric bill every month, which is great. Now, when looking at selling your home, and having a buyer come in that's gonna purchase your home that can affect you depending on the type of solar lease or loan or if you own the system. If you own the system, that's always the best. A buyer can come in and it's not gonna affect their debt to income. However, if you are thinking of getting a home or adding solar to your home or you do have a home that the solar is leased on, a couple things to think about is, this, will this affect my buyer? Will they want a home with leased solar? And what does it do to their debt to income? Most or a lot of homeowners aren't aware that when they got the solar lease, it actually will affect the buyers when they go to get pre-approved to qualify for the home because the lender <clears throat> also looks at what the solar lease is and counts it against the debt for the buyer's pre-approval. So for a super easy, easy, exam, easy example is if you have a solar lease and your payment is $200 a month, even though your electric bill used to be $400, you're saving $200 a month, any potential buyer is gonna have to be pre-approved for your home at the sale price plus have enough room in what they're approved for to account for that extra $200 lease payment. So it essentially would be like the buyer has a, a car payment, for example, for $200. That's going to affect the amount they qualify for. The same thing happens with a solar lease. Um, I think it, you know, it's a bummer that it does affect it that way because you'd be paying for power either way. But because the lease runs with the property, it's almost like a lien or a loan on the property that the buyer has to also qualify for on top of the uh, purchase for the home. So anyway, if you have any questions about solar or getting your home on the market or, or anything with the current market, we would love to connect with you. Feel free to reach out anytime. Um, definitely, if you're thinking about getting solar, connect with myself. Um, you know, and just get all the facts before you go and put solar on your home. So I hope everyone's having a great week. Talk to you soon.